The great outdoors of New Zealand are enjoyed by thousands of people every year with its stunning views and beautiful environments. But before getting away from it all, we need to think about the well-being of ourselves and others in our group for the duration of the trip. Whether it's a half-day walk or a multi-day tramp, we need to think about the five rules of the Outdoor Safety Code. Plan your trip, tell someone your plans, be aware of the weather, know your limits and take sufficient supplies. One of the most important parts of any safe and enjoyable trip is a well thought out plan, which will ensure you're well prepared for all situations. The first rule of the Outdoor Safety Code is plan your trip. Your safety is your responsibility. So before you head into the outdoors, ask yourself, have I prepared for all possible situations? Have I checked a Topo 50 map for what I can expect during my trip? What navigation skills will I require? Which route will we take? Have I planned alternative routes along the way in the case of bad weather? Is this avalanche or river crossing terrain? Do I need permission to use that land? And do I know what to expect of the activity route or track? For each and every trip into the outdoors, it is vital that you make a well thought out plan. Make sure you visit the Dock Visitor Centre, Eyesight or Regional Councils in the areas you plan to visit. You'll find more information online at these websites. Every year there are a number of outdoor enthusiasts who get themselves into emergency situations that could have been preventable if they'd followed the second rule of the Outdoor Safety Code. Tell someone. Just think, if something went wrong while you were away on your trip, how would anyone know? And how long would it be before someone raised the alarm? Your safety is your responsibility. So next time you're planning on heading into the outdoors, make sure you follow the second rule of the Outdoor Safety Code and tell someone your plans. You'll need to tell someone you trust, your time and date of departure and return, your contact details, your car registration and where you've parked, your route, including how you're getting to and from the tracks, the huts you plan to use, including bad weather alternatives, your group's details, including their names and experience levels, the equipment you're taking, and importantly, remember to tell your contact as soon as you've arrived home safely. So, next time you're planning on heading into the outdoors, remember the second rule of the Outdoor Safety Code is tell someone your plans. An outdoor intentions form is available on the New Zealand Mountain Safety Council's website. New Zealand's weather can be highly unpredictable and changeable, which is why the third rule of the Outdoor Safety Code is be aware of the weather. Your safety is your responsibility. So before packing your pack for your next trip, ask yourself, what will we do if the weather turns bad? Do I have emergency shelter? And do I know how to read the weather? To be more aware of the weather when planning your trip, monitor the weather forecast in the days before you leave and watch for changes. Prepare for emergency situations with rations and a tent should you have to stay another night. Be aware of the effects of heavy rain such as swollen rivers, especially if your trip involves river crossings. And while on your trip, if it looks like the weather is getting too bad, consider your alternative routes, turning back or setting up an emergency shelter. Remember, part of being aware of the weather is being comfortable with changing your plans. For more information, visit the New Zealand Mountain Safety Council's website for courses, manuals and advice. And for the weather forecast, visit the Met Service website. Challenging yourself beyond your comfort zone is exciting. But while pushing your boundaries, it's important to limit your risks. Rule number four of the Outdoor Safety Code is know your limits. Your safety is your responsibility. So next time you're planning to head into the outdoors, ask yourself, do I understand the level of difficulty of this activity? Is everyone in my group up to this level? Does anyone in my group have medical conditions or allergies? And would I recognise the signs of exhaustion, dehydration or hypothermia? In order to know your limits when you're exploring the outdoors, research your planned activity and find out where your trip will take you. The level of difficulty of your trip should be aligned with your fitness and experience. 
Sometimes several small incidents can build up to an emergency situation. Take note of any small concerns and be open to turning back early if they start to build up. Consider further education or training to increase your skill level in the outdoors and think about joining a club. Remember, having fun in the outdoors is about pushing your boundaries but limiting your risks. So know your limits. For more information, see the Mountain Safety Council website and consider a course in navigation, river safety, outdoor first aid, bushcraft, risk management and survival. And make sure you visit the DOC website for track standards. New Zealand's outdoor environments are to be enjoyed, but if care isn't taken to bring sufficient supplies, trips can go from good to bad very quickly. The fifth rule of the Outdoor Safety Code is bring sufficient supplies. Your safety is your responsibility. So when you're planning your next trip, ask yourself, do I have enough food for the entire length of our trip, plus extra for emergency? Do I have the right clothing to keep me warm in all the weather types? Do I have the necessary equipment for the trip, such as sleeping bag, shelter, cooking equipment, survival kit, navigation and first aid? And do I have the appropriate communication equipment? You should not expect good mobile phone coverage in remote areas. For emergency communications, consider taking a mountain radio and a personal locator beacon. Now that you've followed the Outdoor Safety Code by planning your trip, telling someone your plans, being aware of the weather, knowing your limits and taking the sufficient supplies, your trip will be safer and more enjoyable. Thanks for joining us for the Outdoor Safety Code. For more information, visit these websites. Have fun out there and remember the code in our beautiful environments. <laughs>